farmer in Zimbabwe. But before we get started, I'd like to talk about the planning that went before these temporary structures were built. Now, if you haven't watched the previous episodes, please go back to our YouTube channel and watch episode three, two, and one. So during the process of clearing the trees, we realized that the trees were just way too many. This was going to cost a lot of money to uh, get rid of all the trees. And besides, we were not really working on all the land to start off with because that would really require a lot of investment. So what we decided to do was to section out a small area on the 4.4 hectares of this main land. And the area we sectioned out was 1,000 square meters, which is 50 by 20. So here's what it looks like. This is the 1,000 square meters and uh, this dark area here is pretty much the size of the land. So, you know, I had all these ideas of uh, selling 10,000 chickens and this was going to be done in a very short space of time. But you know what? When I started working out how much it costs to build the structures, to actually buy the chickens, get them slaughtered, delivered and all of that, I realized that this was going to be really, really, really a massive project. So here's the plan. What we're going to do on the 1,000 square meters is to build some temporary structures. We're going to start off with a th uh, with 1,000 chickens, 100 layers, and we're also going to have a brooder here. And this is also going to house our batch, which is going to uh, follow up on the uh, 1,000 chickens. So we want that when 1,000 chickens go out, we also have some more chickens ready so we can keep the cycle going. We're also going to have some staff quarters here. And again, I need to emphasize that these are temporary structures just to see how this gets off the ground. We also have a tank here because I was uh, advised that if you're going to start a chicken project, water is going to be very important. So we have a tank. I've also been advised that digging a well is a very good idea because a borehole might cost us quite a bit of money. So you know what? I said, let's go for it. While we wait for the soil samples, <laughs> we are going to go ahead and get some uh, quotations on the fencing. So we need some diamond uh, mesh fence around the area. And also we might need some lights, motion sensor lights. So what do you guys think so far about where we are with this project? If you also have any tips or any ideas, please leave them in the uh, comments below so we can also improve this project. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.